In this lesson we're going to create a simple shape and use our layers properties manager to organize these shapes and the logical layers. On my screen I've got a simple shape here and I want to recreate this uh, on the logical layers. For that I'm going to press new and I'm going to create a new AutoCAD drawing uh, from the default ACAD template. Open. Now I want to see the, those layers, those drawings, since uh, I have the other drawing open, still open. I want to see those side by side. To do that, I'm going to go to the View tab and from the Windows panel here, I'm going to click side by side. Now I happen to be lucky enough to have a very good view of this. Uh, if the same thing didn't happen to you, you can just expand and zoom to adjust your view on that specific item. Now we're going to first of all go to the Home tab and open the layer properties manager. I'm going to open that and let's let's right click here and make sure the allow ducking is checked and we're going to anchor it to the left and as we hover on top of that it's going to open and show us all the properties right there okay now I want to recreate everything from the other document other drawing we've got here uh, with the exception of the dimensions here I'm going to go to the layer properties manager I'm going to create a new layer and call it part enter and uh, change the color to yellow and OK and from here we're going to create another new layer and call it the hidden lines enter you can't see the name here actually I'm going to click this to Now, that's better. Now we're going to change the color from this uh, to magenta. And let's over on that once more and change the line type, load, change that to hidden hidden default ok and we select the hidden and ok that I'm going to create one more layer and call this the center lines I'm going to as you see uh, AutoCAD copies the properties of the uh, last selected layer to the new layer I'm going to change the color to green ok and change the line type to something like center we're going to select the center and OK and select the center and OK this. Now I'm going to select the parts layer and make it current for just now. Let's create the biggest shape in our drawing which is this uh, rectangle here. I'm going to launch the rectangle 
and from right here right click and select dimensions and give it a dimension of 10 by 10 10 enter 10 enter and right click enter or just click here to select that I'm going to zoom a little now let's create this uh, little circles and we know that these circles are one unit away from the corners of this rectangle and we're going to use this rectangle in benefit of ourselves to do that I'm going to launch the offset command and give it one enter and select this offset is there press escape now these corners represent the center of those little circles I'm going to launch the circle command give it a day uh, give it a diameter of one unit right click diameter one enter now I'm going to launch the copy and select this right click pick it from this corner to this corner and to these corners press escape now we don't need this sketch line anymore I'm going to delete that now we're going to take care of these rounded corners right here I'm going, I'm going to launch fill a command right click first of all give it a radius the radius there is one unit enter now right click and select polyline and we're going to select this polyline we're done with that now let's create these circles and to do that we have to find the center of those circles and to do that we have to explode our rectangle here right click to explode it and we're going to select the offset and give it a offset distance of 2.90 2.9 enter and we're going to offset this and this side and I'm going to press escape and relaunch that going to give it a distance of 5 unit enter going to offset this now I'm going to offset this line this way I'm going to press escape let's first create this circle I'm going to launch the circle command from the intersection here to give it a diameter of uh, 2.8 enter and let's launch the circle command one more time and give it a diameter of uh, 7 enter now to this point we made everything on the part layer now wouldn't it be good to not to delete those and recreate it on an, uh, another layer and uh, move this objects to the layer we want it well there's a way for that now we want to first of all move this uh, circle to another layer and for that I'm going to select that go to the properties panel right here let's open the general group and there properties panel uh, it tells you what layer it is on the layer is part we're going to click that and s select the layer we want for that now let's select the hidden lines here and as you see AutoCAD changed the layer or moved the circle to the other layer to the hidden, la hidden lines layer so let's first of all select the Center lines by double clicking on it, making the making it the current layer, and create these 
uh, little these lines here and for that I'm going to zoom a little launch the line command and select the shift and right click the quadrant here shift right click quadrant escape relaunch the line command shift right click quadrant shift right quadrant here to escape as you see the lines here are too short and we can scale that by launching the scale command and selecting those right click and scale those from the center of this circle make it as big as the other layer there this looks good and enter going to zoom out a little let's copy those lines to the other circles uh, I'm going to launch the copy select this line and this line right click from the center of this line to the center of this and these remaining ones press escape now as we learn how to move the objects to other layers I'm going to move these two layers these layers we made here to the other object these three ones now before doing that let's launch the scale and select these two lines right click and scale it from the middle of the circle so that it matches the our other drawing this looks good and let's make another circle to match this line to this line going to create that from the center of the circle and give it a right there is good and let's launch the trim command select this edge right click and trim this edge and this edge and right click and select erase and erase this circle now I'm going to press escape we can delete the things like that and let's move these lines to properties panel I'm in general layer and from there we can change it to the center lines and let's move aside press escape now if we use the layer properties manager to organize our layers we open a new world of all the possibilities of line colors types and weights and if we anchor that properties manager here uh, we could have instant access to all those properties right away